Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. We're going to go through the Utopia expedition. We're going to show you how to get this done in about two hours. A lot of it's going to be kind of experimental. I've already gone through it a couple times. And many of you have seen my video, uh, my live stream yesterday with my friend Sugar Rat. You'll know that we, uh, we did that. It took us about a little over two and a half hours to do. It was a lot of waiting around when you're in multiplayer to do certain things. So we're going to get this done in two hours. Just want to show you how about to do it. And we're going to try to remember everything here. You're going to see me forgetting stuff. So if you haven't done the Utopia Expedition, you have until, as you can see, four more days remaining. You have basically until the end of Thursday to get it taken care of this week. And then the next expedition will start on Friday. So here we go. I'm going to start this expedition, Utopia. So right off the bat, I'm not going to have any big things popping up on the screen. Um, we're going to go ahead and state it out loud, so pay very close attention. First things first, you need a lot of chromatic metal, and you need a lot of pure ferrite. Tons of it. You're only going to find copper on the planet that you're on, so it's a 2 to 1 ratio on chromatic metal. You need at least 1,200 chromatic metal to get this game completed to get this expedition, pardon me, completed. So you'll need 2,400 copper at the bare minimum. You're going to find, to find yourself at least two decent deposits, probably three or four, if it comes down to it. Pure ferrite. You can get it from paraffinium as well, You can, you can, can, uh, but you're going to need your paraffinium, so hang on to it. Uh, my suggestion is you just get as much ferrite as you can. It's a one-to-one -one ratio on ferrite to, to pure ferrite, so just get as much of that as possible. You also need some plants, and you need some other things too. So we're going to get started here. I don't have a timer going, but we'll show you how much you can get done. And again, you should be able to get the Utopia Expedition done in about two hours or less, as the case may be. Most people can get it done in about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, some of the speedrunners can get it done in under an hour. Not myself. I have never been able to get it under an hour. So <laughs> I won't be the expert on that. The planets that you're going to go to seem to be easier than they were on the first run through on this expedition back earlier last year. So you should have a pretty good time of it. It's a beautiful planet you start on, excellent conditions. The weather shouldn't be as much of a factor as you might think. All right, so we should be going any second here. And you want to check your multi-tool out. Some, guy, some people uh, pop up with a multi-tool that has supercharged slots on it. So that's always a nice thing. Okay, so let's get started real quick. I'm going to go straight into our inventory and check things out. You see, we start off some batteries, so that's good. You won't need your save game, save point. Go ahead and get rid of that. But you will need this one base computer. Do not delete it. They are expensive. This requires 200 chromatic metal and 500 pure ferrite to make a base computer. You have to make four more. So you know you need 2,000 at the very bare minimum of pure ferrite and 800 of the chromatic metal. You'll need more chromatic metal to develop and produce other things that you need to put in your inventory. I'm going to move some stuff around just to get things started. Uh, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put my life support over here. There'll be a supercharged slot I'll be moving it up into over there. We'll put the protection over there. All right, Starship, we can't get to yet, but we'll get to it later. I will say this, hold on to your tritium. Do not use it in your pulse drive. You'll need that as well. So I have no supercharged slots, but I have a pretty basic unit here. You're going to need everything here. So just move some things around, make some room for some stuff. Uh, you're going to be using your uh, mining laser quite a bit. So first things first, go into our expedition. And our first thing is to establish a base. Um, we want to take a look around first. Let's gather some resources. As you can say, establish a base quickly. You cannot repair your ship. Uh, we're going to go over a couple of those things. Gather as much resources as you can for the time being. You want to go ahead. If it has a second secondary thing to analyze, you want to do it. But you're not going to get your analysis visor yet. Establish your base and you'll get that. Eh, got to get the right button. You do need some of this. You don't need as much oxygen as you think, but you do still need some. I know I'm not giving you amounts of those yet, but you'll need quite a bit of the other things that I told you about. There we go. I just wanted to get some stuff to start with, and then we'll get a move on. Get some carbon you're going to need, because you can see your mining laser is getting a little light. Take a look around for condensed carbon, because that could come in very handy. You see this? Oh, that does work for now. So we got condensed carbon over here. You can't shoot this yet, but you're going to get an advanced mining beam to take care of that. All right, and you need sodium. You need a decent amount. You know, a couple hundred sodium ought to be enough. But condensed carbon will be your friend here. 
And keep in mind, uh, you're not in permadeath mode here. You're in just a regular, ordinary uh, save game. Uh, pardon me, like normal play. So you shouldn't have any problems. Oh, Dormouse was playing. Look at that. That's April G. April G. Thank you. It's good to see you, April. I forgot I was in multiplayer mode. I'm going to stay in multiplayer just, be, just for the fun of it. All right. So it looks like we're getting somewhere here. There we go. Uh, we can get some oxygen here. That was some sodium. Let's get these plants real quick. You do have to scan these plants later on when you get your visor, but we'll establish a base and we'll get some more stuff. I just wanted to get some basics to start with. All right. Now, again, we don't have a visor, so we can't see where there's copper. So if you have an eyeball on stuff and you can see that there's copper in the distance, that's great. We have some stuff over there. Those look like... Uh, oh, I know exactly what that is. As we get slapped by another thing. I'm going to go closer to those. I want to be down low. And this looks like a decent enough spot for a nice base. Yeah, those are going to come in handy. We're going to get some early money from those. That doesn't happen very often, so take what you can get is all I can say. All right, let's go ahead and plant it down. So here's our base computer. This is our first milestone. I'm not going to read through everything. You guys can read through it on your own. It'll take you a little longer to get through the whole scenario, but that's it. Now, someone mentioned in my chat earlier in the comment section that, hey, you may want to remove your base on occasion. So now that's the first thing. We have to construct timber, panel, timber panels in order to be able to... Uh, get what we need, but we don't quite have enough carbon to do all the things we need. So get yourself some extra carbon. If you do the small timber panels, they only take five carbon each, so that's good. So I'm going to get some extra carbon here. Let's get all these plants too while we're at it. They contain a lot of carbon, and they're easy to plow through real fast here. See? Got another couple hundred carbon out of those. And our weapon charge is depleted, so use your condensed. All right, so let's get some panels going. It tells you to build all kinds of walls and stuff like that. You don't have to do that. One, you need 15 items. Just watch at the bottom right as you start to build these things. Now, I haven't pinned the expedition, so we have to establish a base. Let's just do that one more time. It says to build walls, and it says seven, correct? But we're going to continue building these. See what happens? There you go. And your base is now complete. So you don't have to actually build anything special. Go ahead and take your... If I can get out of this. Take your reward. Okay, prepackaged refining unit, copper, and analysis visor plan. So you get your analysis visor right away. To build it, though, it requires a little bit more. So let's get the personal refiner put in here. We're going to put some carbon in it. I'll use condensed carbon for now. And it tells us to build a carbon nanotube, which we do need. So let's go to our multi-tool. We're going to build our analysis visor. And now we have it. So now we can analyze things as well. See, we got our, we got our HUD up at the very, very top, and we can see things. Now, next thing you want to do before you do anything else is upload your base. You have to do that. And do that before you get rid of your items down here. Okay? So you get that re reward. Then you can go ahead and delete everything from it. And that gets you your carbon back. Okay? Alright, so we're good there. Next thing's next. Uh, refiner, we got to put our copper in here. We're going to get 100 out of it. That's our first 100 chromatic metal, but we still need 1,200 later on. So we're going to let that go for a few moments. Our next item on the list, let's go back to our thing here. We have to do our essentials. So that means, uh, let's see here, where'd it go? We need life support, hazard protection, gels, batteries, things like this. So we're going to create all of these. Um, did we get the reward yet? No, we didn't. Let's go ahead and grab that. We get a... Ne ne no, I can't even say it anymore. Nomad Geobay. That's really good. Um, that's going to be your travel item. You're going to need that, trust me. So we see we got paraffinium, advanced mining laser, which we really needed, and a Geobay blueprint pack. Okay. Okay, let's get in here. We're gonna put. We're gonna go ahead and install this immediately because we really can use that. Back to the exosuit. Let's grab our chromatic metal. And you see, it's not telling us to do anything, right? That's because we have to go to our multi-tool and it tells us to build something. What it's telling us to build is a bolt caster, and we need three carbon nanotubes as well. 
So good thing we picked up all those items on the ground, didn't we? So let's go ahead and make those carbon nanotubes. It takes 50 carbon apiece. And you see we're blowing through that carbon pretty quick. Back to the multi-tool. We now have a bolt caster. But it's not done yet. You look at the bottom right, it says we need to gather ammunition. We need more ferrite dust in order to do that. So switch back to your mining beam. Let's get some ferrite dust before we finish that. Scan them. See, we're going to get extra stuff out of it. Scan the other rocks while you're at it. You're not getting much money for them, but you're finding out what's in them. There we go. That should give us a good amount of uh, ferrite. See, now we can do the ammunition. So now it tells us to prepare dihydrogen gel and a support to, to get some life support. My suggestion is you do two of those. It requires 40, but you need one for your ship. Okay? And then you want to do a life support gel. That'll get you the this. And you're done with your option. But you need this to repair your ship. So that's the second thing we're going to teach you right now. Anything you need to repair your ship, you already know in advance, if you go here, that it's got the damaged launch thrusters. You need dihydrogen gel and pure ferrite. You'll get that pretty quickly. And you also need hermetic seal and metal plate. We can do the metal plate now if we had enough ferrite dust to do it, but you have to make them while you're in the boundaries of your base computer. If you delete your base or you leave this area, you will have to come back to the area or you'll have to build a new base. And once you destroy the base computer, you don't get it back. So you're going to have to buy a new one, which means you're going to have to get 500 pure ferrite and 200 chromatic metal in order to build that. Let's get some more ferrite dust. Analyze your rocks. You need everything. Go ahead and check out the animals, too. You need to scan a few of those while you're here. Oh, that was a plant. There's a animal there. I can't seem to get a bead on it. Now I'll get them over here. There we go. I think that's one of the items on our list, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nope, we don't have to discover animals on this base, on this side of planet, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get our base building part. Don't worry about the teleport module, you won't need it. But you see, you got five more iron bat ion batteries, you got five more life support shells, and a mining beam upgrade. So let's go ahead and install the mining beam upgrade, too, while we're at it. It's an A-class, but it's still good. Okay. So you see, we're getting some stuff here. This you're going to need. This we'll need. We need a metal plate. Do we have enough to get it yet? Uh, no, we're still short. So let me move this over. We're going to need more of this. I'm going to just do a little reorganizing here to get things lined up. We'll definitely need more sodium. Carbon and condensed carbon we're definitely going to be going through like crazy. Okay, let's get our ferrite dust. And we haven't scanned this rock yet. Let's go ahead and grab it real quick. You want as much as you can. We'll need a lot of ferrite dust, but now that we have our A-class mining upgrade, not just the upgrade, but the, uh, uh, yeah, what's it called? I'm going to look it up at this time. Our advanced mining laser. We are able to get pure ferrite straight from the rocks, so we can go ahead and grab that now. Very, very handy to have. There we go. Once we get some other upgrades for our mining laser, we'll be able to get a lot more stuff a lot quicker. And we're going to do a little bit, too, as far as strafing runs with our ship is concerned when we get to that point. All right, good deal. I think we're getting enough ferrite now. All right, let's see how we did. Yeah, we're up to 278. we got some pure ferrite coming in. That's a little bit better. All right, and we definitely need carbon as we go. I don't want that guy attacking me anytime soon. You're going to spend a lot of time mining on this planet. So keep that in mind. No pun intended. Get some extra carbon. We could use it. And again, we're going to need some more dihydrogen. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. You'll see that the weather here is pretty good. You will have storms occasionally, but they're not going to be strong enough to cause you any problems. There we go. All right. I'm just getting all this stuff from a distance. That's fabulous. And I'm getting it while I can because there's no sentinels yet, you'll notice. 
Just like in the regular game, you get things as you go. I should probably scan the plants too, because... I bet you they give me condensed carbon, as you can say. As you can see there, I should have scanned the trees. Alright, there we go. Looks like we got a... Yep, geode out of that one. More geodes. Always welcome the geodes, man. Wow, I'm getting a lot of rocks over there, and I'm just standing in one place. This is excellent. Good, 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 good. Keeping the beam hot is always a nice thing, because you get stuff a little quicker that way. Plus, with it hot like that, sometimes you get geodes a little quicker. I think the chances go, go up of you getting geodes and crystals out of these things. There we go. There. Okay, good deal. Let's see how we did. Alright, 600 ferrite, almost 300 of that. Let's go ahead and change out three of this and get us to 500. That'll be great. Uh, let's see. It looks like we're doing okay there. Excellent. We got a good amount of dihydrogen. I think we're in good shape. Now, it's another couple things you're going to need. Let's go ahead and grab some of this because we got an opportunity to get a rare resource here. It's probably just going to be navigation data for the most part, like those at the top. And we do need to get an animal. But occasionally you'll get something special out of it. Let's see what we got. We got them all. Did we get anything special? We got ourselves an exosuit upgrade chart, which is valued at 85,000 units. That is very, very handy. Uh, these things, not costing a lot, but you know what? We're going to sell them at some point. I don't know what it wants me to build here. Creature pellets. Okay, let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we'll go ahead and get ourselves a pet. Because that's one of our milestones. Not in this... Hold on a second. Adopter's companion. And then you go ahead and just... Don't go away. <laughs> see? And you see we got the ownership milestone as well. Alright, so we're in good shape there. So we just con conquered a couple things. A couple other things you're going to need on your run. You're going to need sweet root. That's this guy right here. Grab some. You're going to need it on a later uh, phase, that is. And the other thing you need is, if I can find it... You do need Star Bramble, but you don't have the gloves for it yet. You can get them later. Um, subterranean organic structure is a good idea to go after that. Anything that, Anytime you can find buried cargo, like this one, buried cash, grab it. Because that will get you another milestone. Impulse beans. There they are. You need impulse beans. So I'm going to head over that way. I need a couple of those things. Watch your jetpack, because you don't have the juice you think you have if you have a regular normal gameplay that you get a lot of stuff out of. <laughs> that you've been practicing at. Impulse beans. There you go. Grab those. You need those as well. Just need one plant of each, and that's it. Hey, looks like we got some oxygen here, too. Uh, cargo. You can get this by digging, or you can do this like I usually do it. Go into the first-person view. I put it on hotkey, and you can just pick it up through the ground. And you'll get recovered lost objects. That's from another milestone. Things you can do while you're here. Grab this oxygen while I'm here. Okay, good deal. All right, now we do have an... Oh, See, you got the incoming storm coming and it's not going to be a problem. We do have water here, but there's really nothing we need there. So I'm not going to worry about it just yet. All right. What we do need, there's our base computer. What we do need is we need copper. So look around for some copper. Paraffinium isn't a bad idea. We got copper at 810 over there. 546. So that's a good spot to look. What else do we have over here? Uh, that's a pretty... Oh, 248. That's really close. Let's go ahead and head over there and grab it with 532 even closer by. Now, one thing we really could use, since we have the ferrite dust, is our Nomad Geobay. Just to give you a rough idea, if I try to make something in here right now... Let me see something here. Uh, a metal plate. Yeah, we can make the metal plate because we're within our boundaries. Let me just show you something real fast here. And because of the superheated storm, our jetpack lasts a little longer. Let's see how far away from we are from our base. 
291. Let's go a little further. Ah, look at that. Hey, look, there's our ship. I wasn't even trying to get over here. Let's try it again. You see that? Cannot craft outside of Utopia Base. So I can't make any more of those while I'm here. But you know what? Since I'm here, and I didn't realize my ship was going to be here, let's go ahead and get some of it repaired, shall we? So we have pure ferrite, and we have that. And we have our metal plate, but we can't make a hermetic seal yet, right? And it looks like we've got a supercharged slot on this sucker, too. The storm's going down, but you got batteries, remember? So you should be okay. Uh, I'm not going to use that. So, let's go ahead and get that. That gives us a little extra units. That's fine. Let's see how close we have to get to make more metal plates. Yep, we can make it here. You need five of them. I need more ferrite dust in order to make more. But I just needed five of them. And I'm going to get a little bit more ferrite dust because it's always good to have a little extra on you. Uh, that's a bad plant. Go ahead and kill the plants because, see, you kill up ha five hazardous flora. That is another one of your milestones that you can complete while you're here. I literally forgot about that one until I was killing the plant. And I realized, hey, why don't we do that while I'm here? So there you go. Alright, what do we got? So that gave us... Ah, magnetized. You do need magnetized, so hang on to it. Oh. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> You're probably watching it going, uh, you should really be doing that. So you do have to use them. The storm will be over shortly, though. There we go. All right. Okay, so why am I doing this? Why am I heading this direction instead? Instead of going there? Because what I want to do over here by my base computer is build a... Where is it? A Nomad Geo Bay. See, I've got the five metal plates, two ion batteries, and I've got plenty of paraffinium. Let's go ahead and build it. While you're there, delete it. See? And you got your local transport. So let's check to see what we've done. Let's go into here, and we can go ahead and get the planet link. So that's done. What do we get? Hermetic seal, plants. Now we can build that. Extra craft upgrade, condensed carbon of 256, and a a movement module. And we need that hermetic seal, as you know. Build it before you leave your base. See? You're not usually that close to your ship, so keep that in mind. And there you go, storm clearing. So let's go ahead and install this real quick. We're going to install this in our drive here. We're going to put you down here, put you over here. Any other upgrades we can do right now? I'm just going to put these to a side. I'm going to put them in my ship in a little bit. Hang on to this to build more of those units while you're at it. We don't need any more food. You can get rid of it. Okay, so we got everything to upgrade our ship, but we just need a ton of copper. So let's go ahead and get that done, and we're going to take our uh, handy-dandy little ship here. Is there anything else? Oh, let's collect that. See, we got our hazmat gone. So that was for killing your uh, units. While we're here, let's put that into our exosuit. Uh, we'll put that over here. We don't have the materials to build it. We need 50 chromatic metal and 20 sodium nitrate, but we'll get it later. We'll just have to remember to forget that. Okay. Uh, what else we need? We have other ones that we've gotten. Okay. Companionship reward. And this gives us upgrades to our exosuit. Mike's suggestion is put one here. One, two, three. See? Supercharged slot. Put the two of them up here. There you go. Okay. And then while you're here, let's go back to our exosuit. Put that up there. Put that down there. Okay. So that gets you where you need to be. So let's get a little closer to the ship and we'll repair it. Uh, we're heading towards the copper deposit in that direction. So that should get us. Do we have any more? Oh, we have another reward. Hold on. Paralysis mortar. Okay. It just gives you rewards and some fireworks. So my suggestion would be go ahead and get rid of your fireworks. You don't need them unless you really want to celebrate. Wrong button. So that gives us an upgrade to that. Hey, while we're here. And that is a shield upgrade for our suit. And the final one is another shield module again for our suit. These are random, so I'm kind of surprised I got both of them. They're both giving me core health, so that's really good. Um, does that go over here? No, I guess it really doesn't make a difference. We'll put it over here. We'll line up these up here. We're going to fill these in later on the next upgrade. Let's go ahead and head out. 
And that should be all of the, yeah, all the ones from that phase. So, locate repair. We're going to repair the starship real quick. We'll do it without even leaving this. Uh, this can go in the starship, by the way. Uh, let's see. We're going to put this in the starship, that in the starship. We really don't need it. We're going to go ahead and repair the starship real quick. That's done. Go back over here. Anything else we want to put in there right now? We need these to keep on us. Put this in the starship and that in the starship. Okay. And we'll get the... There you go. So with that comes this. Okay, we got the launch fuel update. So we've got launch fuel. We can put that in our... I just put it in our exosuit, didn't we? Uh, this will be the launcher. Let's put this over here. You're wondering what to put in a supercharged slot. I will put my pulse engine in there to look, make it a little bit more efficient. And you're only going to get the one upgrade for it later on anyway. I'm going to put my shield over here. You'll get more later and add that to your launching. Ooh, good. Launch cost minus 23. That's a really good upgrade right there. And we'll put this in our starship instead. Okay, anything else in our exocraft? Oh, I got a record. Yay. Okay. All right. So that should do it. Let's go get our copper, which is where? Um, this way? No, that's a blue. I'm missing it. I don't know where it went. There it was. Okay. Check because there's a lot of false deposits. This one appears to be one of them. Okay. So we'll have to exit our exocraft and look for the next one. Supposedly it's right here. There's no, there is no copper there, as you can see. Copper deposit at 640. There should have been one more closer by. Okay. We'll go for the one that is at 640 then, right there. Use your exocraft when you can, because you're you're going to travel a lot faster. Granted, it's not quite as quickly as using your ship, but launch fuel is a premium. And see, I've already got a thousand units on my exocraft, so there's another milestone completed. Oh, that looks like a good deposit, too. All right. Let's get out the terrain manipulator and put it on the smallest setting. And the keyboard is your R button. And just start collecting this stuff. This is the grind. This is the harder part to do. Looks like we got a little bit of... Uh, this is not a good deposit. It looks like there's a lot of silicate mixed in. You can see the traces in there. But this will get us started. We'll look for another deposit after this. Because there's all these traces in here, we're only getting like about 20 or 30 at a time. Let's widen this out and gather this one up as quickly as possible. And look for a better deposit. This, again, will get us started. And we'll get a bunch of silicate along with it, which is what we need as well. We don't need a ton of it, but just enough to keep this thing recharged. So I don't like this deposit very much now. It looked like it was better than it was, but now that I see the lacing in it, the marbleized silicon, it's not as good as we thought. All right. So we'll clear this one out pretty quick. The other ones are going to be a little bit of a grind. It'll be kind of boring. Feel free to fast forward. I won't talk as much. Not much to say. Uh, let me just grab the last couple chunks here. I think that was it. Looks good to me. All right. And we're out of there. How much did we end up with? Eh, 472 is pretty good. So again, we need about 2,000 more. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Pull out my pure ferrite. And make sure this is fully charged. It'll take a little bit. And let's get it moving. All right. Let's go find another deposit someplace, shall we? Copper at 523 right there. That's a good deposit. All right, let's head up there. Lots of things flitting around in the distance there. The Exocraft does not protect you from the elements nor does it protect you from being attacked by hazardous flora that is on the planet. So keep that in mind, please. All right, let's see. It looks like there's a deposit here. Okay. 
Is it the same kind of deposit? That's what I'd like to know. Let's find out. If you start seeing it go to silicate while you're going through it, it is the same kind of deposit as it is. So I'm going to go medium, and I'm just going to gather this one up as quickly as possible again. Again, we got 400 out of the first one, so, you know, almost 500 actually. So that was pretty good. So gather these deposits up quicker and move on to a better deposit. This is the only time I've ever run into mediocre deposits is on these expeditions. So they do that purposely to make it just a touch more difficult for you. Play with it. That's all you have to do. Enjoy the journey, my friends. That's what I always tell everybody who watches my streams and watches my videos. Enjoy the journey. That's what I enjoy about No Man's Sky. Yeah, there's a lost guy who landed on the planet. I wonder if he's lost. All right, we're getting there. We should get a good amount of this. Let's see if we have enough silicate. Yes, we do. We got 800 of it, so I think we're okay now. Normally I'd flitter around and try to get a better angle on stuff, but with this deposit I'm now just concerned. There we go. Looks like we got it all. How much we get? 236. Again, we need 1,200. How much do we get? 448, so about the same amount as the other one. I'll go ahead and recharge it one more time. And let's take a peek. Where can we find another deposit? Copper at 650. Uh, let's go ahead and highlight that one just in case. See if there's one closer. Mostly paraffinium, salt. You don't need any salt here, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, let's go back the other way. Salt. Copper at 475. Let's go ahead and hit that one, unless that's the one I just came from. Nope, it isn't. Okay. Uh, helps you to be on the right buttons there. I need to move my keyboard a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I can actually see it from the distance here. Okay. Let's see if it's a decent deposit. It might be on a hillside, but it is what it is. I love the way this thing goes pretty much over anything, including water. This looks like a better deposit, at least at first glance. Uh, let's see. I don't see the marbleization that I saw on the other one. So this might be a better deposit. So if we can get about 800 out of this, it would be good. Go in the smallest setting, you'll get the most copper out of it. And that's all I'm going to tell you here. So we'll go ahead and keep quiet on this and just watch. That way, if you want to fast forward and jump to the point where we're done with this deposit, you can. Again, if this bores you, you can jump ahead.
Okay, looks like we're done with this deposit. How much should we end up with? 617. So we'll pull this out. That's going to get us another 300 on top of the 400 we already have. So 760. We need at least one more deposit to get what we need. All right, let's take a look around. Paraffinium, salt, copper at 374. Let's go ahead and hit that one up, and then we'll start heading back. Hopefully this will be enough. So again, this is the most time-consuming part of this, is having to get all these resources. And this deposit is up here. It is a terrible, terrible deposit. I am not even going to bother with that one. Um... I mean, we can take it, but it's going to be heavily, heavily laced. We'll take what we can, just because. It's a heavily laced deposit. It's even worse than the, the first two we found. The only... We'll get a couple hundred out of it, is what we will. But it's a couple hundred we didn't have, so... We'll go ahead and grab it. I'm not really keen on this one. Because it's such a big deposit, it's possible we'll get at least maybe 300 out of it. Possibly. Yeah, I'm not even sure how much we're getting out of it this, at this point. This might be all of it. Okay, let's see how much we got. See, 278. So, we'll get another 100 or 150 out of it. Not quite 150, 140, 130. Okay. Let's take another peek. Paraffinium, let's go up a little higher. Salt. I need to go back the other way. Copper at three, that's the one we were already at. For some reason, once you've cleared out a deposit, it doesn't delete it. So let's head that way. And we'll go into the mountains over there. There we go, almost got stuck. Oh, what do you know? I don't mind if I do, because early early money in this part of the game, early time to get money is very handy. And there's no sentinels around to complain. See, you got another exosuit upgrade chart. I don't need them. I don't need the upgrades. I mean, you can always use them, but I don't have time to look for it. All right. All right, how do we do? We got three upgrade carts. Value wow, that's nice. That's really, really nice. All right, good. See anything new while we're here? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so our ship is that way. We're going to start heading towards that deposit and maybe go around the other side of our ship. It may be a deposit we've already went for. I think it is, actually. I'm familiar with that one, so we'll just keep going. Almost made it. Woo, that's fun. That's really fun. <laughs> this is the deposit I think it is. Yes, it's the one that we started with that was no deposit at all. So let's just get past it a little bit and go over to the other side of the water here. All right, let's take a look. Paraffinium. Paraffinium. We got copper right there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Hopefully nobody else has grabbed it because this is multiplayer, so who knows who's out there. Ah, it's a good deposit. Can't get out of the hole. Alright, let's see what we got. Is this a regular deposit? Looks like it might be. Yes, it is. This is a good one. Alright, so this should get us all we need. Let's take a quick peek and see how much we've got, shall we? 
907. We need 300 more, so we need 600 copper. All total. Yeah, I've gotten used to do, doing that recharge real quick. So we just need 600 more copper. We don't need copper for anything else. Just to be clear. It's always nice to have a little extra. But you won't need it. So we're already at, what? Almost 200. This is a really good deposit. Wish I would have found this earlier. Probably this is like a thousand unit deposit right here. I get a little bit of glitch going on here. It's a weird video glitch. I hope that's not reminiscent of a problem that's about to start happening. Oh wow, this is a really good deposit. Okay, we're at the 300 mark. Once we get to about 500, we're going to widen out the beam and try to absorb as much as possible, as quickly as possible. So you see we're about 40 minutes into this. And most of this is doing just this. Mining, 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 mining. there. Alright, I'm going to widen out now. Absorb more of this. We should get a little bit more quicker, but we just don't get it as efficiently. So we see what, 520? Yeah, and yeah, it switched over. Another 30 or 40. Switched over. We're almost there. Another 30. Sixty, seventy. Okay, good. I think we've got enough. What do you think? I think we're there. Let's check. Seven hundred. I'll get it up to about eight hundred, and then we'll call it. That should get us enough extra in case we run into a problem. Don't want to tease anybody and leaving some behind. There we go. That looks good. That should get us what we need. I want one more. Any more in there? I didn't realize there was a whole section in there I had missed. 799. And we got one more in there. There we go. 800. <laughs> so, that should get us what we need. As you see. So we should have plenty of copper now. Uh, we got plenty of pure ferrite to get started with, so we're going to go ahead and get going now. Where is my... There you are. And we're going to head over to our ship. Actually, we're going to head to our base computer. Get out of the hole. Yeah, it's a bit of a slow jump. So we're going to head to the base computer, because what we want to do is make sure we've got everything... Did we make? Yeah, we did our make our hermetic seal. We've already repaired our ship. So we're all, sh we're all set there. We got all the materials we need. We have nothing left in here. Everything we need is in our exosuits. We got everything we need. I think we're all set. Okay. There we go. Mining beam. Make sure you got the right one on, huh? I'm going to go ahead and gather up just a little more ferrite, because I don't think we really need to do any uh, strafing now. We can just go ahead and head on with the uh, whole expedition now. There we go. Looks good. How much did we end up with? 230 ferrite. We do need more. We will need more as we time goes on to install certain things. But every planet you're going to land on is going to have this resource, so it's not like you're going to need to buy it anywhere. And plus, the ones that you buy, you're not going to find any. All right. Delete the base. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Exocraft out to the ship and then we can get out of here. Okay. Off we go.
Whoops. Sorry about that. And we're out. Now, you do need other items. We're going to get some from the space station. But while you're at it, check out some of these things, because you might find things like a microprocessor. Uh, grab the rusted metal for now. You can always re refine that into ferrite at a 2 to 1 ratio. Or pardon me, 1 to 2 ratio, the other way around. Buy keen effigy. Can't do anything with it, but sell it. Uh, go ahead and grab this, too, while you're at it. I don't need that. Looks like our chromatic metal is done. Just some more nanites. We don't really need those either, but you can always gather them. And there's something more to sell. Okay, I know what that is. We're in our ship. We're going to get a message. Welcome Utopia, and this is the start of our whole thing. So we're just going to acknowledge it and move on. Okay, so we have a lot of these that we can sell. Um, plus this. Let's go ahead and put what we're going to sell into our ship. Um, and we can sell it where we're going to be going. Uh, it's going to go in there. We're going to put this in here. And there's our... See, we've got 1,300. So we're in good shape there. Uh, put that in the ship. We're going to put that in the ship. We're going to hang on to that, of course. We're going to hang on to that. We'll need it. Uh, we do need a lot more sodium. So we really could use some more. Uh, we will get it on the next planet. We don't need, need it right this second. We need sodium nitrate is what we need. Actually... Do we have an opportunity? I wish I'd gotten them as a thing. Yeah, sodium right there. And more sodium up there. Let's just go ahead and grab it. Hey, that was mean. Let's just go ahead and grab the sodium while we're up here, because like I said, we can use it. Oh, wow, did you see that? Not only do we have this, but there was a whole field of sodium over there. Let's go ahead and grab all this. We could use it. All right. And a little bit more carbon. There we go. Ah, uh, look at that. Bounty. It's always nice when you can find this. Just grab as much as you can. You can just need a couple hundred of it, and that should be enough. There we go. I think that's a good amount, right? About 300, good? Alright, we're good. Let's get out of here. We'll need carbon as we go, too. We'll get plenty of that on every planet we visit. Left the system. That means they've completed their... their voyage. Alright, we're out of here. So, let's check here real quick. We're going to collect our reward for that. And if we can do that right this second, fuel system unit, we'll go ahead and put that in here. Uh, what else did we get? We got this, which we'll also put in here. Okay, good. All right. It's good for later. So where are we headed? Let's look around. We should see a yellow symbol somewhere. Hold on. We probably have to select it. There it is. And that's where we're headed. Uh, looks like it's 20 minutes away. I hate being in this view. I'm going to go switch out. There we go. Up we go. Outpost Alpha. All these outposts except for one are going to be a planetary archive. So we're about 47, 48 minutes in, and we've gotten this done. Now, everything else should proceed normally. We've completed a lot of tasks here. A lot of tasks. So keep that in mind. We're doing good. Just watch for it to pop up on the, uh, once it builds in. Did I miss it somehow? It's not popping into place. Let me turn around. Maybe I missed it. Okay, a little further, I guess. Ah, there it is. I just had to go a little further. I like to land up top when it will let me. There we go. Now, this is a Gex system, as you can see, but there's... Strangely, no one around. And that's part of the whole thing that you get involved in this. You can check these out and sell the things that you have. 
So like, for instance, I'm going to switch over to my starship. I'll get rid of my exosuit upgrades, which will give me a ton of money. Um, you don't really need the runaway mold. You can go ahead and get rid of it. You're going to get plenty of nanites as you go. Navigation data, I'll go ahead and get rid of... I'll, I'll keep those 10. Let me get rid of the 15 that are on me. 13. Nah, that's alright. Doesn't make a difference. Let's switch over. Keep those. Get rid of the Viking effigy and the salvage data. You'll get plenty more later. Okay. And you're going to buy some Starship fuel. I get about four more of them. Or Starship, right? Good. Get some more of these. I usually get five. I get one of those, but that's personal preference. You can see there's not a lot of ferrite dust, cobalt, things like that that you can get. The uranium's worthless to you. So, and having a few extra metal plates is not a bad idea. And the rest of this is useless to you. So, speaking of which. Oh, we already put it in there, didn't we? I just forgot to start it. There we go. Okay, so that should get us good. Uh, let's go to here. It's out of range suddenly. Hmm, interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and get this. Okay, we re registered and we're done. And that gets you your final milestone for your phase one. You'll get upgrades. So I'm going to add them up here. This is where I really need them. I need a second one there. And you see you have one more left. Uh, I'm going to put it over here for now. Because uh, I need more room down there. Okay. The planetary charts are useless to you. You want to put it in your starship, you can. I don't see any reason to. So I'm going to go to my exosuit. Let's transfer. I'm going to get rid of the fireworks. I don't need it. We'll put this in there. Uh, looks like we got everything else we need. So we're in good shape. So we should have enough to make this. We have our hazmat gauntlets. We do need star bramble, but we've got them on pretty much any planet that you go to. So at the next opportunity, we'll go ahead and look for it. All right. So phase one is complete. There you go. You get your extra items. Those are just posters. And where are we going? We're going on a phase two. Okay, as you saw, we already have a couple milestones in phase two already completed, so this should be a piece of cake. There we go. Whoop. Okay, let's go ahead and aim for it, and boom, we're on our way. So you'll notice that this is how much pure ferrite we have. We need 500. We got plenty of this, but we're going to get it, uh, we do need more at some point. But what we're going to do is we're going to get a reward that's going to include, I believe, I want to say a thousand. So we'll only need 500 more. And you'll see that there's another archive here. That's where we're headed. I saw it light up green, so I'll take it. Those volcanoes are cool, aren't they? Remember those volcanoes? We're going to be going to the top of one soon. Let's head over here. We are going to check this out just to see if there's anything in here we want to buy. I don't think there is. Yeah, we're pretty much clear on this. Quantum computers are good. You need a few of those. I'm going to go ahead and grab five for now. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's continue on. Welcome. We're registering. Okay, so that's first milestone of this phase complete. We have to collect it. Okay, so we get a thousand nanites. You see, that's handy. Some craftable stuff. Which we do need to have crafts for those. Especially that one last, that last one there. Not the solar one, but the uh, magnetic resonator or whatever it's called. Alright. I don't care about you. Uh, let's see. So we'll keep the quantum computers over on the ship. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put you like that. So this releases fireworks. Uh, you notice that one of the things about this is it gives 25% hazard protection. Hang on to that. And then there's our map. So go ahead and do the map. It'll take us to that little yellow icon on the right hand side. Because we all need yellow icons. I've got a crash freighter too. If you wanted extra money, I don't think we can do it. We have to go all the way up. My bad. I know that. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I can't do it just still. Oh, that's right. This is a moon. Because it's a moon, you can't go to these destinations via pulse drive because it thinks everything's a planetary interference. So, just stay up in space. You'll get there quick enough. See? It's a tiny little moon, too. There we go. And we got some volcanoes nearby. Oh, look at that. Isn't that special? Please tell me that that's where our base is going to be. We don't have to use any launch fuel. Let's see. It's 400 units that way. Alright, is there anything on my ship we need? Let me check. Uh, no, we don't. We can leave it all here. Are we making anything? Let's find out real quick. We're not. So we're going to be putting down our base computer. We're going to build a little bit, take a picture of it, and then we have to get an exosuit upgrade and some of the volcano. So yeah, we can leave our ship here. And it's that way, 400 meters. Okay, about like that. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's grab stuff, man. And we get another health upgrade. That's good. Anything over here? Not really. Okay. That way. Let's go. That way. Okay. Oh, I think I see where we're going. Yep, I think it's over here. It's going to be where the uh, holographic terminal is. I'll be. I could have landed over here instead. <laughs> okay. Good deal. Uh, do we have a landing... Ooh, there it is. There it is. So we've reached our zone. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Again, we need more, so let's go ahead and just grab it. Dihydrogen jelly. Always handy. Okay, health restored. That gives us another bonus to our health. I'm going to pull my starship in, which shouldn't use any of its uh, fuel. Okay, so we just need to plant a computer down here somewhere. Why don't we do it in here? See? And we'll do it right here. So we should have the ability to build one of these. As you can see, they're very expensive. And looks like Sentinels are showing up. That's good. Okay, we're going to claim it. So I did the smart move, and it looks like we got a volcano just to our right there. That's fantastic, because we have to get to that pretty quick. All right. And we have that. Now we have to build up our base. Do this at every place. Small timbers. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think I got enough. Let's find out. Upload base. Yes, we do. Base uploaded. That should get us another achievement. And just delete them. That way you get the carbon back. Okay. So we built the base. And we're done with that. Let's go ahead and get our rewards real quick. Rooms that we don't need. We get advanced habitation module, salvage data times 12. Hang on to at least one of those. And utopia build plans. Okay, no big deal. One of the Utopia build plans I'll show you in just a moment. Okay. Uh, exosuit station plans. That's what we're looking for. Glass habitation module and glass times 64. You don't need the glass. You can put it in your ship when you have a moment. Because obviously you're starting to fill up. Oh, that's right. I pulled my ship in, didn't I? So we filled up our inventory. So let's just put this in our ship. We don't need it here. Uh, put this in here. Let's pull out the stuff. And get this going for more. So, see, we're building up a lot of ferrite dust right now. Uh, I'll put this in our ship. Uh, build station we really don't need. And we'll hang on to you for now, because that could come in handy. Alright. So, let's build one more thing. We need the exocraft, exosuit station. We need to build that. You notice it takes chromatic metal and magnetized ferrite. That's why you need your magnetized ferrite. Build that. And enter it. Okay. Go into it by that. Don't buy anything. Just exit immediately. And... Hold on. It's got to finish telling me all the things I acquired. 
Hopefully that's it. Okay, try it again. Go in. And exit. There it goes. And that's all you have to do there. And you're done. So you'll see that we've now completed just about everything in the last one except for the summit of the volcano. Oh good, the storm's clearing. That's going to come in handy. So we have a perfect pump. What does that give us? 203. So let's move you out, move you in. Get that upgrade in there. Anything else we need? No, it looks like we're good. Shall we? Hang on to your hang on to the phosphorus too, by the way. So we need to build our Nomad Geo Bay. Before you delete it, call in your Nomad. Now you delete it. There we go. And nearest volcano is there. On our way. Let's head out. Now you notice there's a lot of ferrite around here, so you're going to gather some on the way out. Again, we need 500, but we are going to get... We need at least 500 more, because we're going to get 1,000 as a reward. Um, that's weird. I couldn't go through a tree for once. Why? Because it's on the volcano. Try to stay away from the lava flows themselves, and wait in your ship until the explosion. Which is why. Okay, right here. Go down the slope until you get extreme heat damage again. Right there. And then go up. Okay. There we go. And you notice I took some damage. Now we just want to head straight down the slope by the fastest means possible. And get out of here. <laughs> Alright, and aim for your ship. And we'll gather up some resources as we go. As soon as we get close enough. And there we go. Alright. So let's check, shall we? We have now completed phase two. And you'll notice it's just over an hour. We only took a few minutes to, fi to finish phase two. Okay. I'm going to go over here. And you notice we already have one done in phase three. Phase 4 is incomplete, Phase 5 is incomplete, but they'll still go pretty quick. Alright, now we got Sentinels around, so be careful where you gather your resources from. Alright. Grab Pure Ferrite. So we need 500 more Pure Ferrite just to play it safe. To check our inventory, you'll notice we did get 1,000 Ferrite out of that. Pure Ferrite, that is. We need 500 more. And we'll be able to complete it. So I'm going to get both pure ferrite and regular ferrite dust as we go. And they're already checking things out. Let's go the other way. These are pure ferrite. The only secondary element there are in these is carbon. So there's really no use, use in getting it right now. You've got plenty of carbon on you already. There was a plant in there, I didn't even notice. Okay. So I'm just going to gather this stuff up real quick. Let's see how much we got. Yeah, I need about 300 more. I got plenty of ferrite, so if we wanted to, we could do it out of regular ferrite. But you see, even these big guys over here are actually consumable items that we can get. Watch. See? That's pure ferrite as well, so if we wanted to, we could take these out. I'll just get one more. We'll get the rest from our ferrite. There we go. I think you would have gotten a lot more than that, right? Air kits can go in your ship. This can go in your exosuit. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So, what do we got in here? Let's go ahead and half that, and that'll get us all the rest of the pure ferrite we need. We're done. So we now have all the resources. How are we doing on carbon? Excellent on carbon. So you give us a thousand carbon as well. So we're in really good shape there. We've got everything we need to finish out this expedition. So a few more resources that we need, which we will get from the specific planets that they're from. 
Let's go ahead over here and save this for the next person. Delete the base. And you don't have to do this, especially if you're doing single player. If you turned off the multiplayer aspect of it, your base computers can, can remain where they are. Okay, let's go. All right. So before we go anywhere, let's see. So phase two is now complete. Phase three, we need to go here. I don't know why I'd say to land on a derelict freighter, but that, I think that was part of the original Utopia expedition. That's been since gone, so. Okay, this thing is so sluggish. All right, there we go. And we're on our way. Now, you notice on the bottom right, our pulse drive is getting a little weak. So we're going to have to be careful. But on this planet, uh, or actually the next one, we can get some uh, pyrite. We got star bulbs here, you notice. And we do need star bulbs. So let's go to the outpost first, which should be another... There it is, archive right there. This one had a lot of uh, communication balls around it and was causing my associate, my friend, to have a little trouble with it, but that's okay. And plop. There we go. This way, check the unit over here. Is there anything we can sell, by the way? I don't know if there is much. I want to keep the repair units. Oh, go back to cell and go back to our sh starship. That's what I want to do. Let's keep one. Okay. Keep going. Why are those in my ship? Those should be on my person. I'll have to remember that. Glass. Get rid of the glass. You don't need it. You kind of don't need these either, but I've just been hanging on to it anyway. Alright. Oh, anything to buy? Uh, let's see. Copper. We got a little extra copper in there if you need some. But, no, I think we got everything we need. Looks like somebody else has just landed. Uh, that was weird. Like it gave up on it. Okay, we log in. And we're done with this one. Okay. Collect our reward. Which gives us 1,200 more nanites. Supply drop location unit and your pulse spitter, which guess what? You're going to need that. So put that in your multi-tool while you have a chance. Move this one out of the way. Okay. And you want to open that up. Gave us some more ammunition. Let's get rid of that. You got some donuts. Those are worth something. Eight second what? Jetpack overload. I don't need that. Let's go ahead and sell it. Because we can use the extra money at some point. There we go. There. You are going to get something worth a lot more money later on that'll help you buy materials, but for now it's nice to have it in advance. Okay, let's go ahead and do the uh, coordinates. Always do it while you're in your ship, because you get other because otherwise you get that pullback that you don't need. There it is, that way. Uh, how far away is that? Eh, let's go all the way up. And we're in space. Okay, let's see where we ended up. And we're going to go for some star bulbs while we're here on this planet. This is kind of a nice planet, so any materials that you missed out on on planet 1, get them here. Because planet 4 is not a very hospitable planet. By the time you get to planet 5, you won't care anymore. Uh, let's see. In doing a scan, there appears to be something right there. So I'm going to head there and hope that this is it. Looks like it could be. What's my... Launch thruster's good for one more pop out of here. Oh, we made it. All right, so we ran in the right spot. I'm going to drop my computer down immediately. Claim the base. Because I thought I overheard a ship nearby, and if they drop a computer down real quick, then you're in trouble. You won't be able to do a thing. And... 
Okay, we get that. Decorative posters, which we don't need right now. That's not a problem. So what do we get? We got a cloaking unit. Put it in, uninstall it. You'll get a solar mirror, and you'll also get a wiring loom, which you're going to need. Uh, another bo booster pack. Let's see what this gives us. Oh, that's just airbrushed, airbrushed engine. Good, good to have. All right. Okay, we're all set here. Let's make our base, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Upload. And we got our settlement. Milestone. Okay. So we want to go in there. We're going to accept that. Done. Okay. This gives us two of these. Go ahead and install them both and then uninstall them. You're never going to use them. Put those back in your ship and you're all set there. This gives us something for your pulse spitter, which you're going to need on planet four. Okay. So we're in good shape here. We got everything we need. What is next? Uh, next, we have to do the Exocraft upgrade. So we're going to plant that thing down, which is right here. As you see, more chromatic metal and dihydrogen this time. Let's put that down. Just go in. And jump back out. Done. So that's completed. Yeah, we don't need the Nautilin, but that's okay. So this is an Exocraft boost module. We probably are going to use our Exocraft here in just a moment. What's our next option? We have to prepare Cocoa and Pilgrim's Tonic. Well, you know what that means. That means we have to build a nutrient processor. We already have the extra metal plates. We needed two more, not three, but that's okay. We need a Hermetic Seal. Let's build a Hermetic Seal real quick, which we happen to have available to us. And build a Nutrient Processor. And there we go. So we need Sweet Root. We just need to make some sugar here, so just go ahead and grab one sugar. We'll need that for later. And when you get back to your exosuit, delete the sweet root. You don't, you won't need it anymore. Um, hang on to it, put it in your ship, now that I'm thinking about it. Same thing with the sugar for now. The second thing we need to do is Pilgrim's Tonic, which we get from, star, from the star bolts. But since we're here, Impulse Beans. This gives you the bittersweet cocoa. There we go. And that you only need one of those. That completes part of your task assignments. Okay, we're done. So now we get to build our exocraft. Real quick. Pull it in. Get rid of that. As they continue to tell us about all the things we've gotten. Alright, and we need to look for star bulbs. So let's take a look around for plants. Opie. And if I remember correctly, it was kind of a pain in the neck to find around here. We had to go a little bit further out in order to find some. So let me go up a hill, and we'll go ahead and look for some. That's why we should have got one on planet one. It was a little bit easier to find. So you see, you learned something. If you're making notes, I just ran into that. Let's just go up the hill over here, and we can take another look. Taking notes, write that down. Planet one, get your star self star bulbs. I love doing that. All right, what do we got? Impulse beans. So, see, like I said, you can get them from here. Star bramble. There we go. That's uh, 685 away that way. Any any closer by? No. And remember, if you go for not the cargo drops, for the buried cash, will get you, or even better, buried minerals will get you that other achievement if you haven't gotten it yet. All right, let's go for it. Normally, 600 units away takes a while, right? 30 seconds. See the clock just fly past as you're in the air. And look at that, you're already here. I don't think it took 30 seconds, what do you think? And you don't need much. That's it, that's all you need. And on your merry little way. You do have to collect it on your own, keep that in mind. We're airborne. Yeah, I tried to do another little shot like that. Didn't work. There we go, and we're home. Okay. Give it a moment. Oh, there it is. Nutrient processor. So we put a star bulb in here. Just need one. 
Okay, put this back in here. Take this out. One more time. And you're done. Pick up the nutrient processor. Go into here. You can delete these. You don't need them anymore. This you can put in your ship. While you're here, take care of this. Gives you an upgrade. Okay, cooked local dishes. So that should just about complete out your your next phase. And see, it took us about 10 minutes. We get all kinds of food out of this, which is really not necessary. Oh, this is our upgrade. We have five upgrades we can use. I'm going to put one here, two up there, and then the other two I'm going to go down here. Okay. Let's go ahead and add this in. Put this in our ship. And you'll see that these are here. These are expensive items. Sell those when you have a moment. But I'm going to put them in my ship right now because I have room there and I don't have as much room here. Okay, good. Looks like we're up to a snuff here. I'm going to put you up here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, now they're all lined up. Makes me feel so much better. Okay, good. And while I'm here, you are supposed to be in here. Okay. All right, we're all set. So this takes care of this one. We are done. What's our last phase? We have to document plant life, which just means scan three plants. Uh, we'll need to go somewhere else to find more plants. And you know what? If you do that... There. Just scan these plants right here. And the oxygen one, too. If I can get past it. I don't know why it wouldn't see, see it, but... Well, up here I'm going to grab it. Because you can always use more of that. We don't really need that, but... There's our last one. So you have completed... Phase 3. We get storage containers that we're never going to use. There we go. Here's some visor. And that's it. Okay, Phase 3 is now complete. And we're going to go on to Phase 4. Anything we got? We got a scanner module, which we're going to go ahead and install, just to get it out of the way. Alright. Off we go. Did we delete our base? We didn't delete our base. And I went ahead and hit my landing sequence again. Alright. <laughs> ah, killed the acidus. No, I didn't kill it. Ah, that sucks. Let's do the right thing. Okay, base deleted. While we're waiting, you notice we don't quite have enough, but we put it over here. So let's go ahead and put it in our exosuit. We now have enough to finish up our entire quest. Excellent. Quest. You know what I mean. There we go. <laughs> that way he couldn't bite my ankles. Okay, off we go. Hour and a little over an hour, 15 minutes. We've got three phases done. We're on to phase four. And this is going to a planet that I used to call my hated planet. But with the new Utopia Redux, they have, I think, squished the planet down a little bit. So they made it a little less uh, inhospitable, if you will. Now, what you could do, if you, have, if you find yourself running really low on this, you could take a little and put it in there. But try to keep at least... 25, if you can. That should keep you going for a little bit. And if you find yourself running really low, just wait for an asteroid field. Whoops. Just get some tritium. See? Silver, any second now, it'll say tritium. It'll say tritium. It's calling me a liar, isn't it? There we go, tritium hypercluster, and then head back to there. So, there we go. See, got a little extra now. Got some gold, which I don't really need, but I'll just put it in there anyway. And we got some silver, which we also don't need, right? Where is it? There it is, up here. Nah, we'll think about it. Off we go. Outpost Delta is not an archive. It is going to be a landing platform. There it is, right there. As with everything else in these systems... It is abandoned. Now, go ahead and feel free to check out all the, you know, things that are on the platform. 
Looks like somebody's already gotten stuff out of those. But I've gotten everything. The thing about these places is they have titan worms. There we go. He was going that way. Okay. And it's really, really cool. Alright. Welcome. Log in. You're done. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if I go back into this, I think it acts as a trade terminal. Yes. So if you want to, you can sell those items out on your inventory. Nothing there. Let's go back to our starship. There we go. Uh, the apple. Uh, the gooey. The planetary chart. Please, for all the love of holy, just get rid of it. Uh, I'll hang on to the sweet root for now in case it's going to be needed. The fluffy. Okay, you can get rid of the silver and the gold. You won't need it. Okay, there you go. And if you want to buy anything, feel free. There's a little bit of pure ferrite in there. Uh, the power finium is always handy if you used yours up by accident. And you got some more starship launch fuel if you need it. Uh, but otherwise, everything else in here you've already got. We'll get some more from the space station later. Okay, let's get in here. Before we do anything, we're going to go collect our reward. Okay, was there another one? No, there isn't. Okay. There's our assignment. Let's put our personal force field in. And we don't need it, so go ahead and take it back out again. Uh, Starship. Is there anything else in here? That. Okay. Alright, we're in good shape otherwise. Looks like we got everything. Looks like we got a couple extra items we don't really need. Um, okay. Just making sure I don't need any of this. Okay, good. Off we go. On to number four. And it is pretty far away. Okay, let's go head up. Oh boy, this thing's sluggish. When you get used to flying sentinel ships, you know? There we go. Personalized construction area. Our pulse drive is really light. Fortunately, after this, I believe our next spot is the space station where you can get uranium and pyrite. Now, this planet, if I'm not mistaken, is rich in pyrite. I don't quite remember. I should have been paying attention. So, you can always harvest some if you want. Uh, let's see. Okay, looks like we have a building there. Now, it could be there, or it could be there. No, nope, that's not a there. That could be there. What is there? Well, that's pretty. I know what that is. Um, tempting. Let's go over here and just see if this happens to be the spot they were talking about. Oh, good. Toxic rainstorm. That's what I always wanted. 6173-1391. Yeah, this is it. I see. Oh. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Alright, what's my landing? Uh... Oh yeah, we've got plenty of the launch thrusters. Okay. Well, while we're here. So, some of the things you need while you're here. You're going to need whispering eggs and you need file spawn. Gek relic. Yeah, something I didn't really want. Okay. And the toxic protection is going to fall. You're not going to really have much of a choice. So we had to head this way. While we're here, look for eggs. Whispering eggs and look for tendrils as well. Looks like we've got a couple of tendrils over there. Okay. Oh, those are whispering eggs, pardon me. Plenty of whispering eggs around, but the tendrils are going to be a little harder to find. So let's grab these over here. Actually, going to highlight that one. Okay. Mining beam. And remember, the horrors will come out as soon as this is released. Okay, keep going. All right, let's see. We got a tendril coming up. That's good. But we want to get to our base if we can manage it. So I'm going to head away from the tendrils and towards the base. I must guarantee it's where I think it is. Yeah, it was. I can't believe it. I wondered. Okay, 
Let's get inside this base. In here. And we're protected. Okay. Let's put down a base computer, which we should have the resources for. Okay. Playing the base. Okay, we got that. Now we need to build it. So we'll step outside for a second and drop these down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Too close. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, just in case. Okay. And upload. Okay. Okay, done there. So we've achieved that. So let's go ahead and do that now. Collect our reward for this. We get four more upgrades, as you can see. So we're going to put them all down here. And I'm going to put one over here, just because it bothers me. There we go. Alright, excellent. Let's go ahead and get our personal shield put in, which is going to bring us more core health. That's good. Uh, paralysis mortar, I kind of like just in case. So we're going to go ahead and put that in, which is why I got the unstable plasma. And if I'm not mistaken, do we get anything else out of that? We only got the one larval core. We'll need more. We need two more of those. Uh, let's check our other reward. Okay. So we got chromatic metal again, this time silicate powder. So that's why you needed the chromatic metal. This gives us upgrades to our pulse spitter. Add them in, you're going to need them. There we go. Okay. Anything else that we got? Okay, let's go over here. Alright. So we got to get our multi-tool upgrade, which is going to be this station right here. We're going to put it right here. Enter it. Do the same thing you did to the other ones. Go in. Go back out. You can get an upgrade if you wish. I mean, you've got plenty of nanites if you wanted to do it. Like, for instance, if I go in here, I can also get the bolt spitter upgrades. These two. You can't really build that without getting more phosphorus. But you can get this, which is a ricochet module, if you want to. But why would you? It's really not necessary. So, that's done. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, I don't know why it ends up there. Okay. So we got stuff. There we go. Okay, so you see you got a bunch, whole bunch of stuff over here now. Okay? So there we go. And I think that's it for the main ore. So we gotta go underwater and record a creature. We have to prepare Cicerope, uh Viscera. We'll, we'll worry about this one later. And we have to purge a site and get three hungering tendrils. So we gotta get three of those and this. To do that, we gotta get our tendrils. So it's going to tell us what we need to get. See, it says to get wh Whispering Eggs. And I think the storm is over. Mining Beam. Let's take a peek. So we know that there was a tendril in that direction. Let's go ahead and go after these eggs here. There's one 99 units away. Okay. Highlight that one and head towards it. There we go. And get ready to release them. That's two. And there's another one up there. We'll go ahead and grab that one. <laughs> you gotta be a little quick with on those guys. Ugh. There we go. It's hard to run up these slopes. Now, sometimes the whispering eggs are in the middle of things. I think the our friends caught up with me. Can we get to it now? Yes, we can. Now, this is on a slope. Catch it quick. Okay, that's three. We Now we need hungering tendrils. Which is going to be... Probably back the way we came. That's an unknown building. Where's the building we ended up at? It was a... Not sweet root. Because we know we saw it. Okay, let's head back down. It's over that way. And there was a tendril over there. Let's go ahead and head over there. Biological horrors should 
be jumping back into the ground. They're not as scary as you think they are. Because they don't, while they run fast, they don't corner well. And it reminds me of other creatures. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Let's keep going. Good. Go up here. More eggs. I'm looking for the building that we had landed at. I think it's this way. Huh. That's odd. This way? See, now you got me wondering. Ouch. Yeah, that hurt. A little bit more opened up over here. Lots of eggs around, so that's a good thing. You can find them pretty easily. Um, and wherever you land, it might be a little bit easier, too. I hate to use my ship for this, but we may have to actually go to our ship and take a run around and look for these tendrils. Because while they're not too hard to find normally, Yeah, this is really, really odd. Okay, so let's head back to the ship. I could use the Nomad, but I have to get out of the Nomad every time I turn around, so... Can I get through here? Oh, good. That's handy. Okay. So we're going to use our ship. Probably going to use up most of our launch thrusting fuel, but we're just going to watch the uh, top of our screen here. I'm going to head into this lane here because it'd be great if it was somewhere around here. Looks like there's another building right there. Huh, look at that. Isn't that interesting? All right. Anyway, we're looking for a red tendril to show up on our radar. There's one. He's right. There. Down there. There's another one right there. So we got two of them right here. Just land wherever. Do the best you can. Alright, so where's our tendrils at? There's one over here. Actually, there's two really close by to each other. Okay. Bull spitter. We all set? Here we go. One. Two. Watch out for the biological horrors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the rest of them. That's three, I think. There, got him. Alright, where's my ship at? That way. Really? What was that? There we go. Oh, these guys are in rare form. Good thing I had that little airborne recharge thing handy. Uh, where'd my ship go? Buried in there. That's right. See if we can get to it. Ah, here we go. All right, so that takes care of that. Not as terrible as everybody thinks it to be, but, you know, it's a pain in the neck otherwise. Uh, let's see, so our ship should be... Our ship, our base should be back over here. There it is. And our landing fuel, launching fuel, should be just about out. So I'm going to go ahead and recharge it. Uh, I might have enough to get off one, one more bump off this moon. Okay. So I'm going to go up inside, and I'm going to do it out of the weather. So we need to put the nutrient processor down. Glad we collected it from the other planet, right? Okay, so you see, prepare it. We have to go in here, and we need nightmare sausage. To get that, we got to take fleshy ropes. Just make one. There we go. And put it back in. 
Now you want to put in that and... Was it sugar, I think? No, nope, that wasn't it. It was one of these. There it is. One of those. Okay. I don't want to toggle my torch. Thank you. And I think you put this in with sugar. There it is. And that gets you what you're looking for. We're done. And if you want to, you can go in here and you can delete these. You can do anything you want with them. Just delete them. You don't need them. Okay? Honestly. Okay. We'll get our... Pick it up one more time. There it is. Cooked a vile dish. So let's go back into our expedition. And you'll see we've got that done. Yeah, that building slime. Just what I wanted. And you got this as one of your things. You see the value of this 1.1 million? Yes, you will be selling that. Don't worry. So put it in your starship and hang on to it. I'm going to put you down here. Now, we collect our other reward. I don't know why I keep sending up there. Parasites. And you get a mining beam upgrade and a multi-tool module. Hex cores. I'm not sure why. This goes with your bolt caster. Just go ahead and put it in there and get rid of it. And your mining beam upgrade was very, very handy. Just put that in there, too. All right, so that takes care of that. And last but not least, we can go over here once again to the expedition. Now we have to go underwater and purchase Site of Horrors. Don't go into your ship yet. If you have any water nearby, go ahead and do it. Although, we don't really need to build anything more. Let's go ahead and get rid of our base computer. Um, wow, I didn't realize there was another thing there. Yeah. Go ahead in here. We're going to delete our base. Okay, gone. And I don't see any water nearby. So we got to go find some water. When we get on our ship, we're going to get the next portion of our um, thing. We might want to do that first. Ship. Thank you. And pull in. Oh, aquatic creature. Okay, so it's going to do that first. I don't think that's a good idea. Because usually these places are nearby. Let me find out. Okay, exceeded expectations. And where's our coordinates? Let's find out how far away they are. It looks like it's literally right there. So it was better off that we just stay put. Oh, hello. Oh, wait a minute. That's the building we're looking for right there. Drop. Thank you. As you can see, we're here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up. This is the way I always do it, just as a precaution. Actually, you can do it from down below. This is actually really quick. There we go. One, two, and that's it. So if you're here, you want to grab that, you can. Just go inside. Alright, so the cleansing target is met. We just got to go in here and talk to this terminal. Get rid of your residual goop. Now you can go through the storyline. I'm going to zip past it because it's long. Restore the power, which failed. Blah, blah, blah. You can access the logs. The best line of this whole thing is right here. Something's off limits. A little more. We dug too deep. Lord of the Rings reference there, folks. Awesome. Trace echo. And we're done. And it's going to take us to the space station. If you want to while you're here. That guy shot me. Health restored. There's nothing else on the walls on this one. Oh, this one's one here. Great. I got full health now. All right. Off to the ship. And it looks like they dug down. Okay, good. Alright, so we're done here. The only thing we need to do is go to water. So don't go to the space station. Oh, that reminds me. Come on. That's interesting. Copper, ammonia, sodium. So we don't have what I was looking for here. Okay. We need to find water, so we're going to go up in the air. 
Let's go out into space just a moment, and if there's something close by, we'll be able to see it. Looks like we got water out there, don't you? Think so? Well, let's just head that way. We don't have a lot of pulse drive left, so we're going to kind of hang on to that, because we got to get to the space station. And see if we can head in, and we're just going to land on the coast, jump in the water, scan some animals, and get out of here. Now, if you're fortunate enough, you might land near water to begin with to do your part of the phase. And as you can see, we're about an hour and 40 in, and we're just about completed with phase 4. We should could fit, complete phase 5 here in, in a moment. Okay. Let's look around until some animals appear and scan them. We need one more. We're looking for an animal that's more than 50 kilograms. There it is, 61. That should do it. There we go. So let's go ahead and get that one. Okay, and I don't think there's anything more to do except go up to the space station. We got a bunch of batteries out of it, as you can see. So that's good. A whole bunch of batteries if you really need them. You don't really need the larval core. You can sell that. And the cytophosphate you really don't need. You can probably sell that too. Alright, so we're all done here. Let's go. Off to the space station. So we're going to use the last of our pulse drive juice, hopefully to make reach the space station at this point. 30 seconds. I think we got it. Let's see how much, how close it's going to get. What are we at? What's our percentage? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. We got 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. If the timer comes down below it, we're in good shape. There we go. We're in good shape. <laughs> Just made it. And we're almost out of pulse drive juice. But that's okay. We've got plenty of, uh, We'll be able to get fuel here. As you can see, it is an abandoned station. But you still have a terminal that works here. That's what it's directing you to. So, a little over an hour and 40. And this is just real time that we're playing. This isn't the, uh, the actual game time. Because you spend a lot of time in your menus. You actually chop some time off of that. And to the terminal. Now, the only thing to purchase here is this at this point. While you're here, sell off some stuff. Because you're going to need the room in your inventory anyway. Uh, I do not sell that. Uh, let's go to the starship real quick. I'm going to sell everything but one. Bittersweet cocoa, larval core. Uh, what do we got? Solar mirrors. Okay, I'll leave that there. Ghastly coils will give you a lot of money. Uh, let's get rid of the sweet root, the impulse beams, the pilgrim's tonic, the caramelized nightmare, the relit, and the cytophosphate. So that should free up some memory, some uh, some room in there. And you got four million units now. If you go back to buy, it won't have anything there. You just got to get the last of that. And when you go back in here, it's normal again. You need these. I usually just get five because they're cheap, and you got tons of money. Get the hydraulic wiring too. I don't know, but I keep thinking you might need it. I've already got quantum computers. Get them here while you can. Uranium. There you go. And pyrite. That'll help your pulse drive. And you're done. Just take it all. There's no use in leaving any behind. The, this stuff isn't really going to help you any unless you want to upgrade things and there's nothing to upgrade. So that's it. You're done. Go in here. Get your stuff there. Collect the phase four last reward, which is an egg. Which, if you're going to keep this saved, you can hang on to it. Otherwise, you know, whatever. And we're on to phase five. Um, I'm not going to keep it, so I'm going to go in here real quick, and I'm going to sell. I'm not going to sell the egg, but I will sell the... Where'd it go? There it is, Vile Spawn. Definitely getting rid of that. And in case you're wondering, when you check out that history, it gives you some interesting information regarding the whole Utopia project. Feel free to peruse through it at your leisure. Alright, this goes up here. Or is it over here? Over here. What is it giving me? Solar panel power and fuel efficiency. Just put it there. 
Um, you see we got our tools now. We're going to put that in our ship. Let's go ahead and just put everything in our ship for now. Uranium and the pyrite as well. This is an upgrade for that. And is there anything else in here we need to get rid of? I think we're okay. I'll put that over here for now. We may use our... Our, uh... Geo Nomad at some point. Alright, I think we got everything. Now, you, again, our pulse drive is really, really low. This will help our that, and this will recharge that. We're all set. So we got everything. Let's get out of here. That is the wrong way. And I saw somebody else do that the other day. I keep forgetting it's over here. <laughs> And we're out of here. So, hour 45 minutes, we're going to complete phase 5. Phase 5 will probably be completed in about... This looks like it's a lot, but it really isn't. It will take you very little time to get done. Last planet. Oh, wow, it's keeps us on the front side of the planet, too. Alright. Let's come in. This will also be an archive. Get through the clouds. And there's our archive right there. There we go. Just going to wait for the landing pad to show up. There was a lot of comm units here. I see them down there. Sometimes it causes people, especially multiplayer, to have a little bit of uh, problems with their game. Keep that in mind. You forced... Yes, Gek, I apologize. Greeting from Brazil. Happy holidays. Isn't that sweet? No Man's Sky. I have Canada. Best you from Germany. We'll always be comfortable. Well, that's a very nice uh, wish there. Thank you for that. All right, here we go. Log in. Okay. As we know, that's number one. So, milestone one is done. Okay. More nanites. We got our drop. Let's head to our ship. Guy Skyrim awake. You know, I wonder whether that's not what uh, uh, Light No Fire is going to be about. Um, we want to go in here. Before we do, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't know what that's about. I'll just held down to the Gecknip. It's no big deal. Okay. Off to our destination here. For phase five. How far away is it? Let's see. It says two minutes. Let's go up a little higher. Let's switch to diverting power to engines, and that'll get us there in a minute. We'll just go ahead and fly along up here. If I can stop bobbing. Oi. These ships are like flying a big, huge brick. Oh, another archive. Isn't that funny? Uh, let's go up a little higher. I want to get into the upper atmosphere where we can get a little more speed. Um, out of the clouds, please. Thank you. There we go. Oof. Come on. Get down there. Wow. So sluggish. Alright. Let's take a look around and see where our landing point is going to be. I see something on the right. That would be wonderful if that's where it is. Let's hope that that's it. Oh, we got one on the left as well. Let's go ahead and grab this one. No launch fuel needed. If you want to find a crashed ship, you can while you're here. Is this it? This is it. Nice. So, base computer, can we plant it? Yes, we can. We got enough pure ferrite and chromatic metal. Let's see how much we got. See? A little bit left, and we got 300 of that left. Isn't that neat? We reached our zone. Let's go ahead and claim the base. And we'll build it out real quick, and then we'll start claiming all of our rewards and call it a day. There we go. 15 of these panels. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There we go. That should be enough. And upload. Uploading. Delete it out. There we go. Done. Okay. Get over here to collect this reward. Uh, hazard protection and agricultural plant modules. 
That's great. There we go, and this one. And you see it gave a 3.1 million units as well. Okay. And a new part, Ut Utopia Ship Station. Now this one you kind of need, and you also need that. That's the reason why you need the magnetic resonators and the quantum computer, as well as two wiring looms. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's put this in our... Let's put it down here. And we have the tools to build it. So there you go. Okay, and while you're here, just go ahead and put this in here someplace, whatever. Just get rid of it. Okay, we want to build the ship station. Now this is those one few times when I'm going to tell you... I don't know why it wouldn't reload, but okay. Alright. Your time that you're going to go in here, and you're actually going to buy something. You have to buy your hyperdrive. And you see it cost one nanite. Just one. So you could have sold all those other tools if you wanted to. And it cost us, cost us 125 chromatic metal to put it into our ship. So we're going to put it in here. Let's put it right here. That's fine. Okay. And that's why you needed the five microprocessors. And you need to build a warp cell. So guess what you need to do? You got to build antimatter, which requires how much again? I acquired... It requires 25 chromatic metal, see? So that's why you needed that. And then that, which requires how many again? 30 oxygen, and that's the reason why you needed that. So now we can do our warp cell. You only need that one charge. You don't need to put anything more in there, so you're all set. Okay. So that is completed. Let's go ahead and get the flight calculations. We've got that one done. put this in here. We could use it. Boosts our hyperdrive range to 363. And a pulse engine module which goes over here. Okay. Anything else? Alright, we've got to discover three creatures here and find a, a gas hotspot. So let's go ahead and build our Nomad Geobay for the final time. You do not have to pick it up this time. Let's look for three creatures real fast. I'm sorry, sentinels do not count. And as you can see, there are literally no creatures on this planet at all. I'm kidding. Those count. Let's just go to the edge here. And take a look down the edge. Animals should be appearing if they haven't already. Sooner or later. Any birds, right? There's one. There's, that's number two. And we just need one more creature. So while we're waiting on that last creature, let's look for a gas hotspot. Looks like we have one that way. Let's head there. Off we go. Oh, there's one of those creatures, yeah. We'll go up to the rise here and we'll take another look. Did I see another animal? I thought I saw another animal there. There's one there. Oh. We got one over there, but it's way far away. I was hoping to find something. A little closer down to Earth, if you will. Ninety-three. Let's take a look over there real quick. Before I lose them. Ah, oh, there they are. And that should be number three. There we go. Got the creatures discovered. I don't know why that happens sometimes. There we go. We'll get more of these. There you go. We got a movement module. Go ahead and put it in. You might as well, just for the time being. Is it a better one than the other one? Yes, it was. There, that should do. And Mordite, I have no idea what we're going to do with that. Okay, good. So now we need our gas hotspot, and which was where? 
that way. Looks like we passed it. I'm assuming right here. How close do you want me to get? I mean, come on. There we go. Discovered. Off to your ship. Because guess what? There's your wonderful, brilliant music at the very end. I'm just going to collect it anyway. And we're going to delete our base. Or anybody else who comes along. And the last step is to warp out of the system to a neighboring system. There we go. Off we go. Get out into space. Warp. The planet I choose myself is happens to be right here that someone has renamed Finn. As in finish. The end. And here we go. And as you can see by the time... This has been just under two hours. It's actually about an hour and 55 minutes. Now, the time of the actual save is probably going to be closer to like an hour and 30, hour and 35. But you can literally finish your game in less than two hours. And there we go. Just head for the space station. And you should get that ending music yet again. There we go. There you go. And that should do it. Now what you want to do before you finish, collect your rewards. Okay. The big one is not here. It is here. Collect that, and you get this, the Utopia Speeder. You want to collect that as soon as you compare it and claim it. Don't exchange it. Claim it. You're done. Congratulations. And this goes on to a new save. I think I hit tab by accident. You can put that up there if you wish. Uh, you got planetary charts you can use. You got 12 ship upgrades you can use for your new ship as well. So, and there you go. And this turns into a regular, ordinary save and that's it you're all done and to give you a rough idea how it went so we're now completed we're going to go to the mode select and i'll show you how long the game actually took there you go hour and 42 minutes so that ladies and gentlemen is how you do the utopia utopia expedition in less than two hours and it's a very casual one. If you remember to get all those things on the first planet and just take your time on it, you should be perfectly fine. So that should do it. If you have any comments, please feel leave, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. I always try to respond to everybody's comments. And uh, by all means, please hit that like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in whatever videos we come out with in the future. I do have a regular video that comes out every Wednesday, plus an anomaly video every Friday. So thank you very much again for watching. We'll see you all again soon. Take care.